At this time, I'd like to call our St. Cloud City Council Emergency Special Meeting for March the 16th, 2020 to order. We'll begin with our roll call. Madam Clerk? Mayor Blackwell? Here. Deputy Mayor Matheny? Here. Councilmember Cooper? Here. Councilmember Askew? Here. Councilmember Trace? Here. The first item under council action is resolution 2020-062R. Madam Clerk, would you read that? Resolution number 2020-062R, a resolution of the City Council of the City of St. Cloud, Florida, declaring a state of emergency relating to the no novel coronavirus disease 2019-COVID-19. Is there any discussion regarding this motion? Could I entertain a motion that we adopt? Motion so, to approve. Second. We have a motion from Councilmember Trace, a second from Councilmember Matheny. Madam Clerk. Councilmember Askew? Aye. Councilmember Trace? Aye. Deputy Mayor Matheny? Aye. Councilmember Cooper? Aye. Mayor Blackwell? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. I think we have a recommendation coming to us from our city manager, Mr. Sturgeon. Yes, Mayor, thank you. In light of the circumstances and the updated information from the CD, I'd like to recommend we cancel the March 26, 2020 council meeting. Just a nod. Do we have any discussion regarding that? Is there anything on the that agenda that has to be done by <laughs> the end of March? No, sir. We've actually talked to the applicant. There was one CDD issue and a CAFR, but we can move that to the April 9th. The other thing this allows me to do is come up with a process to allow the public to still have input through video conferencing or chat or something. So that'll give us time to do that and set that up. Do we have any other questions? Could I have a motion that we cancel our March 26th council meeting in light of like the motion. our emergency. So moved. Second. Did you make the motion? No, I'm you. sorry. <laughs> I did. I kept her talking down here. <laughs> so moved. Thank you. We have a motion from Council Member Athena, <laughs> second from Council Member Cooper. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Council Member Trace? Aye. Deputy Mayor Matheny? Aye. Council Member Cooper? Aye. Council Member Askew? Aye. Mayor Blackwell? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. And, and Mayor, before you and especially just one of the other things we're working on and, and there's been some uh, inquiries made of the governor to have the governor uh, alter or limit the application of the, of the Sunshine Law with regard to the public meetings with the sole purpose of reducing the need for individuals to come and gather, depending on where, where we go with this. So we're going to be working on some of those issues. Um, if the governor does not provide for uh, additional restrictions on that, then we may have to address some on, on that the city can do, um, where we would basically have the only items that you would see would be essential items, and we'd even be looking at ways to uh, have individuals maybe restrict the ability for individuals to come to basically talk about anything that's not on the agenda. Yeah. So, but we'll we'll be circling back with you on that as soon as we can. All right. Do you have any questions regarding that? I know that was brought up in the county EOC <coughs> meeting today. Right. right. Yeah. Up and then, to now, he hasn't done anything, I assume. Well, and then the other thing I think we need to be aware of, uh, just from the discussion, if, if we do move forward the meetings and, any, and it looks like some of you are not going to be able to attend the meeting, we're going we're gonna to need to have as much advance notice on that as possible to make sure we're taking appropriate steps to have a quorum. Right. Well, I hope all of us will stay smart <laughs> and stay healthy. Councilmember Matheny. Thank you. Um, along those lines, is there any investigation into holding the meetings over the phone, or is there any well, the way to do the, anything the, like the, that? The, like, you know, the, the current application of the law with regard to meetings is that individual members of any board, whether it's the council, can attend the meeting by phone, but there has to be an established quorum by the individuals present. So, in this case. If you were the fourth or fifth member who was attending by, by phone, that's permissible, but the first three would actually have to be physically present. That's one of the, in, in, one of the questions that's being asked of the governor for the governor to intervene on uh, to basically allow for uh, individuals to do it. The one problem we're starting to see, and it didn't happen, there's a, you have volunteers that are served on your boards, and so it's pretty much a, that's a pretty good big ask for some of them to, to come to a volunteer meeting. We have a planning and zoning commission meeting. I guess we have a quorum for tomorrow night. Do you know? 
so we don't know, if, you know, we, we, we assume so that we'll assume that meeting is going to happen, but as is, if this continues on, then it might be a big ask for some of your volunteer board members to have to attend the meeting uh, to do, to address that. So well, That would certainly be understandable. Most uh, of our boards are not 10 members or more either, so. Is there any, um, I, I know I sit on a lot of boards, but is there any uh, ability to vote by email? No, not yet. Not, under, not, not in comply with the Sunshine Law. Okay. And then my last question is, um, you know, I know there's been a lot of meetings in the EOC, which I'm not privy to, um, but is there, what's the conversation about um, the city shutting down? Is there any, like, and letting people work remotely? And is there any conversations about any of that? I got an email today from the Florida Department of Transportation, and they're already working remotely. The EOC hasn't made any definite recommendations yet. No, but we're prepared but to do safe. that. We've already run a list of essential and non-essential employees and have put things in place to allow some of the staff to work from home. We had bought some additional IT equipment right. to do that, but that hasn't, you know, I'd like to see get that discussion at the EPG level before we make that decision. Right. Yeah, it's not a mandate yet. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? With that, there's nothing else on our agenda. We will be adjourned.